Hey, Roman Trusser here with Peak Fitness. And today guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to get some good uh, shoulder workouts in using only a simple tubing or a band. So like I stated in the introduction guys, I wanna show you guys how to get some good shoulder workouts in using a very simple tubing or a band that you can, uh, you can get at any store. Now, like I said in pre uh, past videos guys, Peak Fitness is all about doing things at home at a very cost effective uh, way. I know not everybody can afford going to the gym. I know we can't always afford good um, gym equipment like dumbbells and stuff like that, but most of us can afford a, a good simple band uh, or tubing uh, or a couple of those. Now guys, one thing you're gonna really need for a good shoulder workout is a tubing and maybe a pull-up bar that you hang on your door. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and show you guys a few exercises that you can do to add to your little uh, inventory of workouts for at home. So the first thing we're gonna show you guys is how to do the side lat raises, all right? So now you got two options of securing this band. The first thing is just gonna be tying it down to something in the opposite direction that you're going. So if you're gonna be pulling up on this side, the tubing needs to be tied down somewhere down in the lower left-hand corner. So if you're going up to the right, you, you know, tie it to the lower left. But an easier option is just to stand on the band itself. You stand on the step on the band, find out the tension that you need, and go ahead and conduct the actual uh, side lat raises. Now, if it's too easy, no problem. So if I was standing here on the tubing, and that was not enough resistance, I could just stand here. It's gonna create more resistance because I've made the amount of the band that's gotta actually do all the resistance smaller. So it increased the resistance for you. Now, also keep in mind, the amount of resistance you need is gonna determine or be based all strictly on you. So this, for example, doesn't have a lot of resistance in this band, but there are other bands out there with a higher resistance rating that you may need to get. So you're gonna probably have to figure out what you're gonna need through trial and error. Now that was how you can do the side lat raise. Now here's the thing guys, we need to go ahead and work the front, the front raise, or sorry, side delt raise. And now we need to work our front delts. So the, the front part of the shoulder here. Now it's the same thing guys, you can go ahead and tie it to something and, uh, and, and do the raise. So tie it somewhere behind you and do it, which is gonna give you a good amount of resistance the whole way. Or push comes to shove, you don't have anything tied to, again, just stand on the actual band. And then you're gonna go ahead and do the front delt raise like you would any other um, exercise, as if you were using a cable machine or using uh, dumbbells. Now, keep in mind though, with a lot of these bands and a lot of these workouts, you're not gonna have a whole lot of resistance towards the bottom part, it's gonna be pretty easy. So really focus on the top half and resist it a little bit longer and hold it there a little longer so that way you're gonna have that time under tension so that way you're still gonna get a good burn and workout with, these, uh, with, with using a band. Now another exercise you guys can go ahead and do which is also really great to uh, developing some of your back is you gotta work your rear delts. Now one of the problems that we have when people work out is they tend to focus a lot on their chest and on their backs and they'll start getting this you know rounded shoulder thing here going like this. Well to kind of fix that we need to strengthen the rear delts in the back. Well, the way you can do that is to simply use, again, the band. So grab the bands right in front of you, just like this, and open them up. That's all you gotta do, guys. And think about not moving the hands, but moving the elbows out and back. So there you go. Now, of course, you wanna go as wide as you can so that way you're gonna get the most contraction. Um, again, if it's too much, uh, not enough resistance, just make your hands closer and continue to, uh, to open and close the arms. Um, this is very similar as if you were doing a bent over fly. So if you're holding dumbbells and you're bent over and you're doing the flies, this is gonna be the same concept using the bands. Now another option is to go ahead and tie the band to something, um, if you really want to tie it to a doorknob, tie it to whatever, it's not gonna slip off. I really don't like doing the doorknobs. I've had them slip off the doorknob and smack me. But that's another option you can do. You can do one arm at a time and you can get a pretty good contraction that way. Sweet. So one other exercise I wanna show you guys is an overhead press. Now the same thing, a lot of these bands come with two handles so you can do both at a time, but it's real simple even if you wanna do one arm at a time. Simply stand on the band and perform the exercise as if you were doing a barbell or a dumbbell press, overhead press. It's the same thing. Control the contraction up and down. 
Again, if there's not enough resistance here, stand on the band a little closer to the handle and it will increase the tension. Um, again though, if there's still not enough tension, you may need to go get yourself a thicker and heavier band. And lastly guys, one of the last exercises I really want to discuss is the smaller um, muscles that you probably don't even think about and that is for like your rotator cuffs and that's actually what holds your, uh, your actual arm in place into the socket, the muscles that hold everything in there. If you don't strengthen those muscles as well, you're going to go ahead and cause some serious shoulder injuries like I have in the past. And what we're going to talk about is external and internal rotations. Now this is where a pull-up bar may become necessary or something you can just secure it to um, above head, overhead. Now imagine it's tied over to something overhead and you want to go ahead, get your arm in about a 90 degree position here, tucked into your side and then simply go out. That's it. Start here right in front of you and work your way out. Now you don't, don't expect to go way out here. It's not going to happen, especially when you want to keep your arm in on the side. So you come out as much as you can and control the contraction. You do not need a whole lot of weight to do this. You will start to feel the burn. Do about 15 uh, sets of these or 15 reps of these and about three sets. You're going to feel the burn. In fact, you should feel it towards the front and the middle of the shoulder. That's going to be your external rotation. The internal rotation, the band would have to be tied up on the same side of the arm, but overhead to the, you know, if I was doing the right side, it would need to be tied to the upper right hand corner. And then you would just go inward. So internal rotations, and that's going to work towards the center and the back of the uh, shoulder there. And that's going to work the smaller muscle groups that's actually going to help hold the shoulder joint and everything, the shoulder in place. Um, please make sure you're working those smaller shoulder uh, muscle groups. You don't want to forget about them or you can risk injuring yourself. In fact, you'll see, uh, um, maybe, I have a little bit of a bump that sticks up here, the little bone. Uh, well, that's because I didn't work those and I had a shoulder injury and that's because I uh, didn't work those smaller uh, shoulder muscles and I overloaded on the bench press and hurt myself. So this is important to do not just for shoulder workouts but also for chest workouts and back workouts because your shoulders are used for everything. Your shoulder joints are one of the only joints that moves in all directions. So work all the muscles that help support and strengthen the shoulders. Now with that guys, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead, hit that like button. Also, if you've got any comments or suggestions, leave those down below as well in the comment section. And also don't forget to hit subscribe and click on that bell so you can get more videos and notifications when the videos come out. With that guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you later.